Hey, good morning. This is Chris Menard. This was a question I was asked on my YouTube channel, an Excel question regarding ranking numbers. It came from Taylor. Here's what she was doing. She wanted to rank the numbers uh, largest to smallest. So she would right click, sort, largest to smallest. That was a one, that's a two, highlight, autofill, double click. <clears throat> that doesn't take care of though if you have duplicate numbers and plus that's a manual process. I'm going to undo. So the function to use, and I'm going to do this twice, I'm going to show you the rank function first. Then the next thing I'm going to do, and this is what's special, I'm going to rank by the branches. I have branches listed in column B. So here is the rank function, rank period EQ. This function came out in Excel 2010. And what number am I trying to rank? The 88, comma, what is my range? I'm going to highlight the entire range. I'm going to make it absolute reference with the F4 key, comma. The third argument, do you want to rank it ascending or descending? In this example, Taylor wanted descending, which is the default. I have the number two, crosshairs, autofill. If you recall, I made that absolute reference. Just double click. So the 100 is obviously the first, 88 is two, let's test it. I'm gonna change that 88 to 160, that should become one and two. If by chance you have two numbers that are exactly the same, it goes one, one, and then I get a three with the number 87. So that is working. Uh, one thing I like about the rank function, you do not have to sort the numbers. If you wanted to go instead of descending, ascending, not a problem, it'll be the number one. I'm going to undo, put it back to descending. Now, if I want to rank by branch, there is no, we have some if and some ifs, count if and count ifs. And just last week I made a video on count ifs with an S. I'll put a link of it down below, and plus it's up there in the top uh, right. But there is no rank if. So to get around that, I'm going to use the count ifs function. I can have multiple arguments. So count ifs. I have two things I want to count. I need to count the branches in column B, but then I need to count the scores. I like to go left to right, so I'm going to highlight this range. Again, I need to make it absolute reference comma, B2 to B11, Atlanta, which is B2. My next one is the scores, again, absolute reference, comma, and this is where it gets tricky. Right now, I'm evaluating the number 88, but it's through all those scores. So I'm going to do, if 88 is greater than, Not bad, greater than. I got a join to it, ampersand, cell C2. So there is your formula right there. I did use two criteria, I mean two ranges, which means two criteria. I did use absolute reference on both. Um, control Enter will leave me here. What that is telling me, that number one right there, if you look at that formula, if you look at all these numbers, I do have Atlanta, so it found Atlanta, and it says the number 88, there's one number greater than 88, which is the number 100. So when I pull this down, I should get a zero here because nothing is greater than 100, and I do. The 66 for the city of Atlanta should be a three, I'm sorry, a four. That's correct because there's four numbers over that. There's uh, 68, 87, 88, and 100. But here's the problem. I've got that zero sitting there. So just to fix this, all I'm going to do is edit the formula and just add the number one at the very end. That should take care of it. I should get a one because 100 is the best. 100 is the top number, so 100, that's correct. Atlanta is listed five times, 
One, two, three. Here we go. The old Sip Chicago. I should get a one and two. I do, and those are correct. And then for New York, I should get one, two, and three. So there is the count ifs function. I'm using that as a rank if, which there's no official rank if function. Uh, Taylor, I hope that helps. Everyone else, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, feel free to go to my website and subscribe. I have a webinar this evening on financial ratios using Excel. I appreciate your time. Have a great day.